Among the decisions announced was a curfew adjustment effective March 17 during the hours of 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. daily. During the Easter weekend, April 2 to the 5th, the curfew will run from 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. daily and thereafter it will go back to 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. Here's Lisa Joseph. All agencies and businesses will continue to implement a blended service operations approach which includes work from home where possible for employees. Staff and board meetings will be held virtually or online platforms as much as possible. Separate provisions apply for key approved sectors, example, essential services, construction, manufacturing, and call centers. Business operating hours. All business operations and commercial activities must end by 8 p.m. daily, as guided by curfew enforced through the state of emergency. This requires all businesses, including supermarkets and restaurants, to completely shut their doors and business activities by 8 p.m. in order to curb movement past 9 p.m. Restrictions on social gatherings. Social gatherings are restricted to no more than 10 people of immediate family. In public and private settings, individuals are encouraged to limit their contact as much as possible and adhere to all necessary protocols, as well as being mindful of general hygiene procedures. No allowance is given for mass gathering social events of any kind or loud music permits. Religious institutions. All daily or regular church and religious services are permitted in accordance with social distancing protocols. Religious institutions may carry out services according to the square footage of the church. This is guided by each institution's guidelines and protocols approved by the Ministries of Equity and Health. Special religious rites, including baptisms, weddings and funerals, will be limited to a maximum of 50 individuals, inclusive of observers and the service leaders. Funeral and wedding services should be by invitation only. Dates of burial services are not to be formally advertised. Special events. Both excursions for up to 10 persons. This is only permissible for crewed yacht charters and family boaters. Excursion plans must be reported to the lighthouse ahead of the journey. Absolutely no day boat party charters will be allowed. Restriction on alcohol sales. The sale of alcohol is permitted at supermarkets, minimarts, gas stations, restaurants, and bars. Standalone bars to operate during the business hours of 11 a.m. until 8 p.m., allowing only takeaway services. Licensed restaurants are permitted to serve liquor as part of dine-in services only. Strict measures of protocol enforcement and a no-tolerance policy will be in effect. Licensed restaurants and bars to display all necessary licenses and revise capacity as per COVID-19 protocol for the establishment in a conspicuous place. Restrictions on sporting activity. All competitive and high-contact sporting events, including indoor and outdoor trainings, local competitions, or social activities are prohibited. Provisions apply for individual or immediate family households to exercise in a safe, open-air space. Gyms are permitted per square footage and protocols. Special permission granted for training athletes requiring one-on-one -on -one coaching training for non-contact sports, example tennis and swimming. Special permission is also granted for one-on-one -on -one personal training. Schools are to follow strict protocols and regulations issued by the Ministry of Health and Ministry of Education's Continuity Plan for schools in St. Lucia to operate safely on a specified system. Further information on the commencement of in-class learning and dates will be communicated by the Ministry of Education. For more information on St. Lucia's COVID-19 response, please visit covid19response.lc.